Hey guys, it's Jalen and Valerie. Hi! And we're here today to share with you our update for Nightmare on Panning Street. This is a fantastic ladies club project created by the both of us. Year three, and we are working through our prompts. Working through our prompts. We're getting through them. I think we should go back and forth like we did last time. That worked really well. Yeah, I agree. I enjoyed it. Okay. It was a lot more interactive. Yes. Anyway, so we have, uh, I think we have a very similar number of prompts rolling out this month, which means a similar number rolling in. We work on 13 at a time. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let you start because you have one more empty than I do. Yeah, I have six rollouts, which mm -hmm. is really exciting. And I'm going to start with the most exciting one. All right, I already know which one it is. That is for Sweeney Todd. It's mm -hmm. a hair product. I finished my one use. <laughs> Power on. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like these a lot. I don't mm -hmm. have any more of them, but I do like them. Yeah. I take your hair is get... your hair is like a piece of cake. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But you know, everybody's hair needs. So that was like a moisturizing mask. Right, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, and my hair does need that. I mean, my hair can be kind of coarse if I don't do that. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but this, these are great, and the, and the the shower or the cap that it comes with are made out of a uh, cloth, so they're very comfortable. They don't hmm. make noise at night and keep you awake as you turn or whatever. And they, I have no problems with these. So I've never used one of those before. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. And then in the morning, you know, you wash it out and then wash your hair and your and that conditioner has been on overnight, so. It's great. I like That's it. That's great. That's awesome. But I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> Unless it comes in a kit that you just like happen to purchase. That's right. Yes, exactly. So that was for Sweeney Todd. Woohoo! The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. <laughs> well, so, I my first uh, uh, MD I'm very excited about as well. This is for Get Out, a product you want to get out of your collection. Get out! Get out! The, Lohr, the Guerlain Lahore primer is freaking out. I can't remember if I have another one of these, but anyway. This one's done. Finished. That gets a thumbs down. Yeah, and like, I can't get the last of that. Like, you try to pump, I mean, you try, it just, it just it's not worth no. it anyway. It doesn't screw off. Bye-bye. No. Done. Bye. So that's my number one. Okay, good for you. Happy. To, I hope you don't have another one. So. For Insidia, something that you dreamt about purchasing, it was this Dior nine pan palette. Oh. My goal was to use each pan uh, three times, and I did that. Yay. That's so awesome. And you love it. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I love this. I, I will bring it out again in the fall. So Please. have you heard this thing that, like, colored eyeshadow is out? No. I say... Fuck it. If that's the case. I've, I have heard that women over a certain age, like my age, should not wear bright lipstick. And I say the same thing. Fuck it. I'm going to wear what I want to wear. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. You go, girl. Yeah, I think it was on a uh, Jen Loves video. I was like, excuse me? So like the, you so the younger, So the younger, as my dad would say, the younger generation... He always called us the younger generation. Well, I, we are no longer the younger generation. That's the right. younger generation, like my niece's age, they just, apparently they don't wear a lot of, it's very neutral eye makeup or it's very little eye makeup. Uh, in terms of eyeshadow. Now, I don't know what the deal is with the eyeliner and stuff, but I was like, well, that's boring. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Well, I have heard that the older you get, the more neutral and... Mm -hmm. and more similar to your natural skin tone you should wear. I think it depends. I think there's a way to wear color appropriately mm -hmm. in an, at an older age where you don't look like a clown. That's right. It's just, yeah. you got to wear it appropriately. Yeah. But there, lots of people think appropriately. There are <laughs> appropriately means different things to different people. That's true. <laughs> But you wear color and it never looks like garish or, you know, you wear the, I think you wear colored eyeshadow appropriately. I, I'm pretty conservative with yeah. 
Yeah. Because of what I'm wearing. And also with glasses, they say that that's magnified, of course. That's it. That's what so I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. With, with your I'm, glasses I'm and everything. But okay. it, I mean, it's clear. I, people comment, you know, I love your eyeshadow. And I, then I get paranoid because I'm like, oh my God, my, my eyeshadow must be like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm anyway, sure. I love these kinds of lippies and I'll never they stop go, wearing. But they go great with your coloring. Mm. Anyway, I got us off on a major tangent. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway, I have finished. I've hit goal on this three times per pen. Done. Yay, out. All right, I have the next prompt for me is Jaws, a water-themed item. I rolled in this Tony Moly, Tony Moly, moisture brew. Holy moly, Tony Moly. <coughs> wow. I rolled in the Tony Moly Moisture Boost Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum. And I did finish this. This was like a hydrating serum, and I liked it. I don't know if I would go out of my way to purchase it, but it was it was nice. Didn't you just roll that in last time? No. Okay. Oh, maybe. No, no. I, I, this is like the second month that I've had it in. I was gonna say, man, you blew through that serum. Yeah, I think I had progress on it last month, but I hadn't finished it. I was like, I gotta get, I gotta work that one out. That one's in my 100 colorful empties too. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Okay, for the Amityville Horror, something that, a purchase that haunts you, it was, uh, we went through a long talk about this Winky Lux eyebrow pencil. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. And the, well, let's the use triangle. it 13 times. And I did use it 13 times, and I am going to apologize to this product. Oh. Because I was really mean to it last time, and I've actually been enjoying it. Ooh, Okay. But is, the, is it the triangle kind, teardrop shape? Okay. It, it's not my favorite at all, but I'm not struggling with it the way I did the first time I, I finished one of these. As a matter of fact, I used this all month. Hmm. So 13 times, and then I just fin I just continued using it. I, I will put it down now because I have another pencil and another project. Mm -hmm. But I I actually enjoyed this. Hmm. So it, it'll come out again. So when you compare it to like an ABH, is it, how is it easier to use or easier to use than the last time you used it? You don't know. I don't know. Maybe the, I just had the learning curve last time that I, Maybe. and this time okay. it's just, it just goes. So, hmm. um, like I said, it's still not my favorite, favorite thing, but mm -hmm. I can see myself using this now and finishing it. That's awesome. But not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to another pencil. Moving on to another pencil. <laughs> okay, my next one is for The Invisible Man, something that erases. I rolled in a concealer by Ulta Beauty. This one is the full coverage liquid concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I rolled it in for 13, 20 uses, I'm sorry. I had 13 last month, and I did hit my 20-use goal. This one is a little, I mean, it's it's fine for right now. I'm working on one from Ult, uh, Urban Decay that I have the stopper out. So I want to just finish that one. This one is close. I haven't taken the stopper out of it yet, but I could wear this right now if I, once I finish the one from Urban Decay, mm -hmm. there's still a decent amount of product in here, but I feel like once you take out the stopper in those, it goes fast. So that one's yeah. rolling out. Well, they go fast for you after <laughs> they take out the stopper. I've had a stopper out for three months and it's still going, but I, it is going in my empties this month. I have one more day with that. I was going to say, will it be done in a and day? Then, well, I'm I'm working to get product out. So I feel very good that I've gotten. I mean, I could probably get more out of it, but I'm done. I'm moving on. <laughs> done. 15 I, I, months of concealer, I, that's a lot. That's a commitment. And so yeah, I'm done. I get Breaking it. Up. I get it. Yep. It's, it's time. I'm breaking up with my concealer. <laughs> okay, for the grudge, I had this is something you wish you hadn't purchased. It was this honey um, flavored mm. lush lip scrub. Yeah. And I was to use it 13 times. I did. My eventual goal is to finish the whole thing, and I'm, okay. I'm getting there. Yeah, you're getting there. I'm getting there. So, are you working on it exclusively now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. But I have to thank you because putting it, putting it in the shower. Game changer. That's right. a game changer. Yeah, totally. Because you, especially like I have mine sitting in my little rack 
And so when I turn around to get my shower gel, which is on the rack, I'm like, oh, there's the scrub. Let me scrub real fast. And yep. now it's like a habit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. The Nun, a product with black and white packaging. This mother effer is out. The Glam Glow Youth Cream Rejuvenating Power Peptide Moisturizer. This isn't terrible. Out of all the products from Glam Glow, this is probably the one that I like the most. I don't like mm-hmm. their masks at all. This moisturizer was nice, especially at night. It was a thicker moisturizer for my dry skin. I still wouldn't purchase it because I have others that I like better, but it was nice. It was fun. And it's out. And it's out. And it's done. And I think I have, I don't think I have any more Glam Glow except for maybe like a sample Woo-hoo. mask. Yeah. Yay. So that's done. Good for you. Mm. The, you get the Guerlain and then you get that out. Yeah. That's two big ones out in a month. Mm-hmm. Like, bleh. yeah. Bleh. Okay, for the next one for me is for the exorcism of Emily Rose, something that makes you levitate on cloud nine. Mm -hmm. And you had chosen this Cleona shadow. I have now used it 13 times. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So that's going away for a bit, but it will come out again because it's really love alertly. Love alertly. It's love alertly. (laughs) Yes, it is. So that's good. I'm glad to hit that goal. Yeah. Ready. Ready for and that. And get some usage out. on those Cleona shadows. Mm-hmm. All right. My, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. That's right. You have one more? I have one more. And it was okay. also get out. Why do I have two get outs? I have no idea. Maybe that was from the, I don't know. <laughs> get out. You this just is want weird. to get a lot of I have, things out. I have jaws again. Maybe your wheel didn't delete it. Whatever. It's fine. Get out a product you want to get. So I pulled in this wet and wild highlight stick in the shade Marigold round. And it was very close to being finished and it's done. So I don't think I needed to use it more than like four or five times. And then it was finished. So it's done. Yay. That's great. So it's nice to have those, uh, cream concealer, uh, Cream highlighters out. Yeah. And this is one I've been working on since last year. And I mean, this is a very old product. Mm-hmm. I don't like think I've I, ever seen And I, it, I think I got into this when I, I bought this when I first got into makeup, like 2016, 15, something mm-hmm. like that. I mean, it's old. Almost nine, 10 years ago. Yeah, old. <laughs> so I'm glad it lasted as long as it did and I was able to finish it. All right. All right. Moving on to things we are still working on. So I guess I'll go oh, no, first. I have one more rollout. Oh, you do? Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, one more rollout. And I rolled it in last month. It was for the mist, which is a spray. And I had rolled in this one size makeup remover. This is a, what does it say? Makeup dissolving mist. Mm-hmm. So. Let's hear the scoop. This works. Okay. But I do not spray it on my face. I spray it in my hand mm-hmm. and then spread it on. If there's something weird about spraying this particular product mm-hmm. to take off makeup. I don't know what what is what is what the hang up is for me. I did it a couple of times. The mist is very fine. Mm-hmm. And as a matter of fact, I wasn't sure there was anything going on my face. And then I said, Oh, there is stuff on my face. And, you know, and then, but after that, I don't know what it is. Cause I do spray a finishing spray. I don't know what the hang up is for me, but, uh, but this works. It, mm-hmm. it, I still prefer pharmacy or Clinique. Mm-hmm. This is okay. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It smells a little bit funny. I don't know what, I don't know. How, I can't pinpoint it. Mm. I don't know what it is. It doesn't smell like aerosol for sure. It smells Maybe a little florally, but not really. I don't know. It's a very strange smell. But anyway, I, I'm going well, to finish it. Well, that's good that it's not, that's good that you don't hate it. No, I don't hate it. it it's not my favorite, but yeah. I, I don't hate it. Yeah. And I'm glad to try it, you know. Anyway, this is in 100 Colorful Empties, so this will, this will be used up anyway. Right. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm glad the review wasn't, like, scathing. Well, no. actually, I kind of wish it was scathing because then it would be kind of fun to hear it. 
say how much you hate it, something. It, I, yeah, it works. Okay. All right, cool. So that's it. Those are my rollouts. That's Six of it. Them. Okay, moving on to things we are working on. Yay. So for the cabin in the woods, I've been working on this prompt for a long time. An original, innovative product. I am wearing this today. This is the Stila Glitter Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Retro. I'm sorry, Rose Gold Retro. And I did have to put some eye drops in here because it was drying out. But I have eight uses now. I'm up from six. So there's the color. It's really pretty. That is a pretty color. I just forget about it. So two more to go. It's going to be out next month. Nice. It's going to happen. So that's my Two first. Ones. Yeah. Good. Okay. So I have something I want to sh talk about real quick. Yeah. So you know my little Brissette palette with my lippies? Mm -hmm. So somebody posted on one of my my videos, or the lip service videos, that she saw somebody take one of these, like a version of this, and put their liquid eyeshadows in. Hmm. And I was like, because <laughs> then you could use a little brush, uh -huh. and they didn't dry out. Apparently not. Hmm. So I've been wanting and thinking about buying one, like like you know, like a six pan or eight pan or something, to try that, because I have all it. of these Stila's and they just sit in my, you know, my drawers back there. And every once in a while, I remember to pull them into a project. But how would you get the product out of there? With, with a spatula? A, with a spatula or something. Yeah, you just gotta, I, and I've done that. Like I have a little, I put one of them in here. And I, I mean, but this continues to dry out. It's dry. Yeah. Well, that's what I would think would happen with the little palette thing, that it would dry out too. But I will say, like, none of these lipsticks feel any different. Right. Since they've been in here. Mm -hmm. And those are made for, these are made for makeup artists. Right. Anyway, I'm very curious, and I'm tempted to, to buy one and try it. <clears throat> maybe even a, maybe even this one. Like this is a really, this has just got a couple of, you know, small wells, give it a try on like a row and see how it does. That might be a better option because you don't want, if you don't want to buy one and put a bunch of liquid eyeshadows in there and then they all go bad. So yeah. You just try. Yeah. Anyway, I was curious. I may have to oh. try that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, the first one I'm still working on is for the shining, which is a double, some, a, a twin. Or oh, right. something you have back above. And I had rolled in this Smashbox primer water last month. I am very close. I'm about oh, yeah. right there. And I almost rolled it out this month. And I thought, no, I'll just I'll just keep oh there you can see better. Um mm -hmm. I'll just keep it in for another month and finish it up. There's not there's only an ounce of product in here, so these don't take long to get through. Mm -hmm. Uh but this is um I love this stuff and I love this scent. It is uh, black pepper and cinnamon. Oh, I love this scent. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't think I would like that. I know you wouldn't like it, but I like it. So that's going to stay in for one month. That'll definitely be out next month. For okay. Four awesome. Well, similar to you, I almost rolled out this one. This is for Halloween, a set of sheet masks. So I have, I pulled in five of these Dr. Jart Soothing Hydra Solutions. I'm down to this one. So I have one left. I almost used it today, but I was running late. So I'm going to try to use this tomorrow and get it done because I have some other sheet masks I want to work on. But that yeah. one, yeah, I almost rolled in another prompt for it, but I was like, no, it's fine. Five is, five prompts is plenty. Just, just five. It's okay. Yeah. That's how I felt. I'm like, no, oh, no, I think I'll just hold off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, for Rosemary's Baby, which is something that's new to your collection, I rolled in the Glowish Blush oh, right. from Huda Beauty. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So The pretty. color is uh, cheek, no, Berry Juicy. Berry, berry juicy. juicy. And I have used it 16, no, sorry, 6 of 13 times. Okay, about halfway there. 
I'm halfway there. Yeah. It's really very pretty. It's a, it's a really gorgeous blush. blush. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful blush. And a little bit goes a long way <clears throat> with this. So I don't know if I'll ever finish this, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's beautiful. I'm so happy to have it. And this is a mini, I think. Oh, is right? it? Maybe it only comes in this size. I don't think. I was going to say, you, I think we could say that for a lot of blushes in our collection and highlighters. Yep. So, oh, anyway, I'm happy to have it. I have, you know, uh, more uses. Yeah. So seven more uses on. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. For Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a duo or double ended product. I rolled in this Bite Beauty duo in Opal and Jam. And I'm working on using jam, which this is all I have left in here, which is very exciting. Nice. I have five of 10 uses on this. It's just bold. And I like to, I end up mixing this. Mm -hmm. Pretty color though. Yeah. I was going to say you should put it on now. It's very pretty color. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It is now we're gorgeous. kind of matchy matchy with our dark lipness. So I have six uses on that. <laughs> okay. Four uses to go. Okay. So for the curse of La Llorona, this is something that makes you weep. Mm -hmm. I explained last time that this makes me weep because it's beautiful and also because it's broken. Oh. And it's the colored rain. Oh, right. Highlighter in the color selfie. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. I have used it. Eight of 13 times. It's a very peachy. It's so pretty. Color, as you can see, yeah, and it's quite blingy. Bright. It's gorgeous. That's it's perfect for your skin tone. Yeah, it is beautiful. I've, I've been enjoying wearing it. So, uh, yeah, eight of, eight of 13. I have I have a few more uses yet. On yeah. That. Yeah. You'll get to it next month for sure. No problem. Yeah. For Animal, Annabelle, a pigmented or bold blush. I went with a blush in this Tarte color wheel, and I'm working on Montage. I had six uses last month. I'm up to seven. Yay! And you know how we've talked about how, like, you put something on your vanity and you forget to use it? That's what happened today. Mm -hmm. So that three uses to go. So yeah, I'm going to focus on getting this one out in the next month. I have talked about a lot in my videos about how I've been focusing on other blushes and projects that are ending soon. And now I feel like I can kind of play around with the blushes I have rolled into projects so and that aren't ending soon. And this is one of them. So I three uses to go. It'll it'll be out next month for sure. It's the goal. Good. Yeah. It's a very pretty blush. It's gorgeous. Okay, for the nun, I rolled in, this is a black and white product. I rolled in this small tube of Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion. Mm -hmm. I, it's to finish it, and I've used it a couple of times. I love it. It's it's a wonderful uh, um, microderm abrasion product. I just have four of these going at the moment. Oh, <laughs> that's tough. Exfoliating things, you know, and mm -hmm. so I'm trying really hard to use them all, but I'm not getting through any of them yet. Are the rest of the minis or the rest of them, like, are they, are there some full sizes? Two, the, uh, two of the other three are minis and the, and then another one's a full size, which I also have in this project. I'll oh. show it to you in just a second. So I would focus on the minis. It gets done, it'll, I'm not worried about this, but yeah. it's just a little slow right now. Yep. Makes sense. So that's it for that one. That's for the nun. For the nun. All right, for the ring, and Adam, you want to expose the ring on the pan. I rolled in this beautiful eyeshadow from Touch of Glam Beauty and Aqua Me This. And I originally was like, 10 uses, and you're like, but what about if you don't hit pan? So, of course, I rolled this in to hit pan, and I don't have pan yet, but I feel like it's close. How many times have you it. used it? Do you, have, do you know? I think I've used it like three times oh, okay. since the last update. So, I yeah. mean... These shadows are, you know, I don't wear these shadows every day. Mm -hmm. These colors every day, I should say. It's a really beautiful. It shifty. looks like you're close in the pan. It does look like I'm close, which is why I rolled it in. I was like, well, I don't think I have pain in any of my Terra Moons. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. I feel like once I hit pan, it's going to be like a big pan. Probably. We'll see. Probably. Probably. Okay, my next roll-in was for my Bloody Valentine, which is a heart-shaped product. Mm -hmm. And I rolled in this Too Faced Heart Core. Mm -hmm. is the color we decided last time. Yeah, we did. uh, It's a lipstick. I guess it's a lipstick. I don't know, but it's got, also has a little heart in the Mm -hmm. center. It's so cute. It's adorable. I love those. This is a very bright, very bright lippy. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And my goal is 13 uses, and I'm at two. <laughs> it actually, I like the color a lot. I just forget to put it on, frankly. That's mm. that's the deal. But I like the color. Yeah. Now that we're going into warmer weather here in Florida, this will be beautiful. Oh, yeah. It'll be perfect for the summer. Yeah. I'm not sure what that core is. Is it a bomb? Maybe that's a I feel like bomb? it's a, I feel like it's supposed to be like a tint like a really tinted lip balm yeah maybe so it's awful cute it's awful cute awful cute it's awful cute all right <laughs> for Quisera, the bone woman a broken item my top shop eyeshadow in wax and wane i rolled this in for 10 uses ah! <laughs> hold on I rolled that prompt in for a new product. Wait till you see mine. Okay. I'm so excited. (laughs) Oh, it looks like it. Well, it didn't break. Anyway, there it is. I had zero uses on this last month. I'm up to eight. So I should have this rolled out next month. I would think this, I mean, it's so, I did use it today. Actually. It's so pretty. Pretty. And I like to use it as a topper. So I use it as a topper on like the outer portion of my eye makeup, my look today. It's really nice. So two uses to go on this one. Is it like a duochrome or multi-chrome? Yeah. I mean, this is before all those duochromes really became popular. Right. right. And so I remember there was this Instagrammer that would talk about like beautiful shadows. And this is one of them. And I was like, I must have that. So I went searching for it. Yeah. yeah, and poor thing's broken, but, you know, it's fine. All right, next for you. I have another scrub, another facial scrub. Oh, now, right. this is not a, not a microderm, but this is a facial scrub. And it's from Hey Honey. Mm-hmm. What was the prompt? This is for Hellraiser, a facial exfoliant. Oh. <laughs> I love that prompt. <laughs> and I've now used it 6 of 13 times. Okay. But- the goal at the end is to finish this thing. Um, so these, this has salt crystals in it, which is fine, but they're really large. Oh. oh. I, when I use this, so it, usually in the morning I use an oil cleanser. Mm-hmm. Same. You no. Know, and I have been, when I use this, I put a little bit of that oil cleanser and mix them together. Oh, that's a good idea. Because this is kind of harsh, actually, on my face. I may I may experiment with using it on my arms. That's what I was going to suggest. Because I think it's a little harsh. The, the, the salt tastes good, you know? I'm like, mm, that tastes really good. In the yeah. Morning. But... But I find it to be quite harsh. The, mm. the crystals are just too large. Yeah. So the next couple of uses, I'm going to experiment on my body and my arms and see how that works. That's a good idea. I need to finish it that way. Yeah, I wouldn't use it on your face if you feel like it's too harsh. Cleanses and exfoliates with dissolving salt, crystal, and min- minerals. I haven't had any dissolving anything happen. Oh, interesting. They kind of, yeah. So They stay the uh, same and, size? I'm sorry? They stay the same size? Yeah. Oh. Well, may, I think they get a little smaller, but they never dissolve. Um, so, yeah. I like the product. I mean, it, it really cl- cleans my face. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to put it on my body and see if I can finish the uses, finish the product that way. Right. It's a good idea. See what you can do there. See what I can do. All right. For Triangle, a never-ending product. Again, like for me... Hi- highlighters blushes right we talked about that so i have this new nude air dior skin nude air luminizer in the shade number 001 this one is in like their gold shade 
And here is the beautiful highlighter. I rolled this in for 10 uses. I'm up to eight. I do mix this one with the pink one I'm working on right now because it's mm -hmm. a little, I can use it on its own, but I kind of prefer it mixed because it's a little bit dark for me. So yeah. that's how I've been getting through it. But it's, it's a beautiful highlighter. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. So two I uses my, to go on that one. I have my Dior highlighter in another project and I just, I just it's love gorgeous. it. They're gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Okay, the last thing I'm working on is for the blob, which is a putty or jelly product. Mm -hmm. And I rolled in the Tatcha Silk Canvas. It's a putty bron uh, uh, What primer. is it again? Primer. <laughs> My goal is to finish it, and I am now working exclusively on this one. I was working on another primer, finish that one. Yeah. And you see here that I have a sizable pan. You do. There, so. I will finish this this month. I love this product. It's so beautiful. I really love it. Do you have a preference? And I may have asked you this last time over that one or the or the liquid. I like this one better. I like the liquid better. Do you? Yeah. I like the I like this one better. Mm -hmm. I feel like the liquid is better for dry skin. Like it, like ah, it. It's, it's so, so nice. I love it so much. I just finished one, which is why I'm like obsessed with it. Like a deluxe size of it and it's so nice. I love it. I feel like this, the putty, conceals my pores. I have quite large pores, um, especially on my nose. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it really helps that more than the other one. Yeah. I would. I think just the nature of the product, you're absolutely right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then my last one is for the prompt Smile, a lip product. So I rolled in the Charlotte Tilbury matte revolution lipstick and i grabbed the wrong one this is in secret selma <laughs> the one that i wanted to grab is in pillow talk and there it is and i was like i'll wear it today and of course i put that on instead of pillow talk <laughs> anyway <laughs> which makes sense i was like why is the one i'm working on so much like it's like i knew i had one that was close to being finished it's this one anyway I rolled it in for 10 uses. I'm at, I, I put three, but I'm actually at two now. There's the shade. So eight uses to go. I would love to get this finished in the next year or so. Yeah, because so, you have another one, right? Thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> As our friend Deb would say. <laughs> Uh, all right so now we're rolling in new prompts mm -hmm. new prompts okay you have six new prompts so you start you start us off okay for the strangers something that's strange to you or you've never used i rolled in this akar eye serum oh okay i've never heard of that brand i don't know how i have this <laughs> Maybe Allure Beauty Box. Probably. Yeah. Actually, you're probably right. Mm -hmm. I have used a lip pomade balm kind of thing, a potted balm from them. Oh, I've never heard of them. Forever. Oh, really? To get through it. This um, is in 100 Colorful Empties for red. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get 13 uses on it and get, get moving on it. Is it a serum you said? Eye serum. serum. Eye serum. Yeah, okay. It's an eye serum. Yep. So awesome. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. I can't wait to hear what you think about it. Don't know. Don't know. My, right. fir my first one is saw, something that's a pain to use. So I decided to roll in this bronzer. This is by Guerlain. It's the Terracotta Mineral Flawless Bronzing Powder in the shade Light. It is a loose bronzer. I have that. You do? Did you find it at TJ Maxx? <laughs> yes, I was like, ooh, Guerlain at TJ Maxx. I have to buy it. <laughs> Is that what I you did, did too? <laughs> I'm like, Guerlain. I know, I was like, I'm not going to put this back. But it's a loose bronzer. Like, what were we thinking? <laughs> and it came with this rinky-dinky little brush. <laughs> Honestly, I I have, have you used I it? 
No, I don't think I have the brush anymore because I'm oh, like, this is useless. This is stupid. I don't know. I, I don't know why I kept the brush. Like, I'll be honest. I'm like, this is, I would not, I'm not going to use this brush, but I'll be honest. I've used it and I do like the bronzer. I mean, it's a lighter bronzer, so, but it's nice. Yeah. It's just a pain to use because it's loose. But I cannot believe you You have this too. I have it. <laughs> For the same exact reason you bought it. This is why we're friends. Because <laughs> we do the same shit like this. I know. And I haven't used it. it I mean... Well, it's not going to go bad. It's a loose powder. Like, it's yeah, not going to go right? bad. Like, yeah. I just, you know, and you like, can't oh, tell I how much. I have this now and I put it in the drawer. <laughs> yeah. And you can't tell how much is left. It's not like, it's hard to do in panning because it's not like you can tell how much is in here. Yeah. You, you just have to can't get pan. You just got to use it. So I'm, uh, 10 uses. It, yeah. We're putting it in for 10 uses. <laughs> With the little rinky dinky brush, which I probably will not use. Oh my god! That's I may stupid. have that brush somewhere. I think I think I tossed it though. Yeah, I, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Me. I've been tempted so many times. <laughs> <laughs> so for the Babadook, I rolled. This is something that has a weird name. I struggle with this prompt. I've had it before, and I struggle with it. Mm -hmm. I chose this product not because it's a weird name, but but because it's like an unbelievable name okay. for this product. This is from Kiko Milano. And I kept the box. It's called the Fruit Explosion Freezing Makeup Fixer. So first of all, Fruit Explosion. I don't even know what that what is. Yeah. And then it's freezing. Now, do they mean that it's cold or that it freezes your makeup? And then it's a makeup makeup fixer. Well, a spray can't fix up your makeup. Make, fix your makeup. So I just thought it was a weird. It is a weird name product because like a it's fixer a to me it's I, a very fun model <laughs> it's a very fun bottle it's a watermelon it, well for at first i was like it looks like boobs and a crotch oh maybe that's <laughs> just if you see that one but if when you flip that's it around i see it yeah i can the crotch is crooked. <laughs> the crotch is crooked maybe she's leaning to the side <laughs> Anyway, it's watermelon. It's watermelon. Okay. <laughs> so I think it, to me, it sounds like an Urban Decay all nighter type product. I think so. And I would think a fixer would be more like a Mac Fix Plus. That's what I'm thinking too, but it's just weird the way they yeah. have it. Yeah, so I agree. I don't think those two things, I don't think those two things go together. No. Personally. So I'm gonna but maybe it's a miracle I've project. I'm sorry? Maybe it's a miracle product. It might be. I think I bought it in Italy last year just because I thought, oh, this is kind of cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna try it. 13 uses. I have a couple of sprays on the go right now, and mm -hmm. so I don't really want to put this in to finish it. But eventually, this this will be finished. Okay. Awesome. But 13 for now. Woohoo! 13. All right. My second prompt is the grudge, an item you wished to wish you hadn't purchased i brought this in a couple of times this oh. maybelline super stay better skin <laughs> powder you have a lot of those yes we're gonna do 10 uses i'm just gonna start picking my way through this <laughs> is that the same color you you panned last year are they all the this same one's color? a darker shade now this one's a little bit darker shade i do have i think one of each left if not more, I don't know. 10 uses. Okay. <laughs> For the Hills Have Eyes, this is an eye product. I have gotten, I have finished an eyeliner this year, y'all. And you don't know what a landmark mm -hmm. pan that was for me. Because I take, I have a lot of eyeliners. And I just don't pan them. But right. I, now I finished one before in the first quarter of the year i finished one mm -hmm. so now i'm cocky and i think i can keep you know just plowing through these eyeliners so I think for you the can. hills have eyes i've i'm putting in a stila mm -hmm. they call these smudge sticks i think and this is in the color moray like a moray eel m-o-r-a-y oh, okay 
and it's a it's kind of a foresty green color oh pretty it's got a little it's not quite foresty it's more evergreen or something it's like it's got an olive hue to it yeah a little olivey i've been i have been using this a little bit and i i like it a lot mm -hmm. it's an automatic pencil it's not sharpening so i'm going to put this in for 13 uses it's already in my routine so yeah there's the, i will hit this goal this month and of course i'd like to finish this this that year. Would do this year eyeliner. yes this year but i can't roll this down so i don't know how much is left it's just gonna oh. be one of the things where i roll it up and it's done okay got it i can't so wait I know. I'm excited. All okay. right. I have a second Jaws. A water-themed item. Fine. I'll do it. This one won't take long. I have the Bathing Gardens Sugar Scrub in Lime Flamingo Punch. And this one's four ounces. I've already started using this, actually. This went traveling with me when I was in Mexico. It smells so good. So I was... I and I've... I've kind of had it sitting in my bathroom, like next, the next, whenever I finish the one I'm working on now, I'll focus on this, but instead I'm just going to focus on this one. Cause it's, those are the only two scrubs I have in projects. Right. So I'll work on finishing this. This one I should have done before the next update as well. Beautiful. We'll yeah. I love I've never ordered a full size like that from her, but she sent several samples, little samples and they're great. They're that, so that, that scrub is wonderful. Mm. But I'm, when I've made a dent in my scrubs, I will likely order from her. That's what because, I keep saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, okay, this is interesting to me because I have a lot of products in projects and they're in different places, you know, boxes and whatever. And yet my closet is still full of stuff. Mm -hmm. My closet where I have my bath gels and, sh and scrubs mm -hmm. and things like that, it is still full and I'm constantly using things from that closet and I cannot put anything else in there. They're all stacked on top of each other. It's what the hell? I know. <laughs> I know. I'm making a dent in my minis. I've noticed that my minis like are, I'm almost to the point where I can pull them out of the spare bathroom closet mm -hmm. and like consolidate. But I feel like the shower gels, like they just, oh, they take forever to get through. I know. And I'm, I'm intentionally putting full sizes, big ones, yeah, like the philosophy big ones. And I still have a lot. Mm. What the heck? What? 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 It's like you go to sleep and Santa Claus comes and replenishes your closet. You wake up and you're like, what the hell? I know. I thought I got through some of these. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, for Pet Cemetery, this is something that you had to revive. I struggled with this. Mm, yeah, I posted in our little chat group, friend group. I said I need help with this, mm -hmm. and and Andrea at Pretty and the Peacock gave a uh, gave a really great solution. But I decided to go with a Super Shock Shadow because I don't I neglect these. I don't yeah. have very many. I think I have six or seven, mm -hmm. but I just don't don't use them so i f was going through them and found one that is particularly dry <laughs> <laughs> this is the color ladybird uh-huh which is a super shock shadow ultra glitter oh okay this is a very popular color and it's dry as a... it's bone dry bone dry it's pretty it's very pretty, but I will be putting some Duraline in that and reviving it. So it's a back to its creamy. Uh, and something else I like to do, you can try this too. Cause sometimes I feel like Duraline makes it thicker. Look how, look how that builds up. Wow. It's like, oh. I would try spraying like a Mac fix plus or something in there. Okay. Try that first and see if you like that. And then try Duraline. I don't know. I think both options are good. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which one I, I think this Stila one, I tried a lot of Duraline and it didn't end up working out too well, but I don't remember what I've done with my Super Shocks. Try spraying it. I'll try spraying it first and then see how that goes. That one's beautiful. I use it quite. That's really well, pretty. I've never gone. Know. I've never seen that one. 
handful of times when I first got it, and then it went into the drawer of ignore, <laughs> ignoring the door, the drawer of ignoring of ignored and makeup. It, yeah. And so now I want to pull it out and use it again. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. That is an inner corner for sure, but also as a topper. Yeah. You could also pat it on your, you know, you could do a little bit here on a, as a highlighter. You totally could. You Pretty totally good. could. So that'll go in for 13 uses. Okay, cool. My huge. My huge. Your huge. Okay, for me, the next prompt is the Curse of La Llorona, a product that makes you weep for joy because it takes forever to finish, etc. I'm going with joy. And I have the Terra Moons eyeshadow in the shade Atlas. So this is one of those like toppers. It's pretty much white. And, but of course it's gorgeous whenever you put it on. So there it is. Yeah, it's, to, I, don't, I don't think you can see it, but it's got a, you can see a lilac flip. Oh yeah, I can't see it here, but I bet that's beautiful. It's so. Pretty. Oh there, I can see it. Yeah, you can see I it can now. See it yeah, it's so pretty. So I'm rolling this one in for ten uses, and I can't wait. It's gonna be a gorgeous topper. That's like wow, the. I know. Damn. It's like damn, I'm here. Hello. I'm present. Jill in the house. <laughs> that's great. I'm excited. So ten uses on that one. Okay. For La Huesera, which is a broken item. Oh, I can't wait to see what this is. Wow, that has rubber bands on it. A rubber band around it. Wait, what is that? This is from Mally Beauty. It's a it's a press powder. Okay. And it's... <laughs> Yeah. Wow. That is broken. <laughs> it is broken. Yeah. And you know what's what's a shame is that I have panned it. I have used this. Yeah. But it broke almost within the first ten uses. I opened it and this thing just like flopped came open. Off. Yeah. It's just glued here to this fabric and and it just doesn't stay glued anymore. And then it broke. Have the you hand. tried glue gunning it back down? I have. Oh. I have. And it doesn't I work. I have tried to do repair work. So the repair work I use now is a rubber band. <laughs> that is a broken product. Now, so, is the product nice? The product is very nice. Okay. I, I would have tossed it, frankly, if it were, you know, if it weren't. But it's yeah. a it's a really nice product. So I want to use thirteen uses. See if I can get through this guy. Um, I don't know about this year, but see if I can finish it next yeah. time. Pick next away year. at it a little bit. Yeah. So thirteen uses on this for La Huesera. I think that'll be doable. It's a nice product. I like it. That's awesome. What? Oh my god! I almost dropped it. <laughs> broke you would have broken it. <laughs> uh. <sighs> All right. My last prompt is the Evil Dead, a tree or forest themed item, which is a, pro a prompt that Andrea, pretty as a peacock, came up with. This one is always a struggle for me because I'm like, what is tree themed? Like green, sure. And I always roll in this green eye eyeliner. It's like I'm not doing that this time. So I went with this palette. This is oh. by Odin's Eye. It's the Makeup Just for Fun collaboration Flora Story. Mm. So you can see it's got, you know, I mean, it's it, it works. Yep. And it's got green, like a green theme going on. Pretty. So I'm rolling this one in for No Pan Left Behind. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of excited about mm. it. That's a pretty one. Yeah, these shades are really pretty. So, yeah, we'll see. No Pan Left Behind on that one. Nice. Well, my, my last one is for the Omen. This is 666. You're supposed to use a, well, six pans. It can be a six pan palette, but six pans, six times each. And I feel like I really neglect my NARS makeup. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of it and I like NARS quite a lot, but I just don't. I'm, the, I'm with and you. So I roll, huh, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I do the same I don't thing. know why. I don't know why, because I, I like it. Anyway, I'm going to roll in this face palette from NARS. That's beautiful. It's, sorry. It's kind of a mess. This is called the Exposed Palette. Mm -hmm. I love that and one. It's a cheap palette. It's got, what does it have in here? I think it's got two 
Two blushes, two bronzers. Oh, no, no, I think it's all blushes. Yeah, and a highlight. Oh! And it's broken. Yep, yeah, it's broken too. So oh. I think it's got. I think this is a highlighter. Oops. You I know. Put these in. Okay, I'm I sorry. Go ahead. Backwards. I have a solution that we, maybe we can do. I put these in backwards. <laughs> but anyway, this is definitely a highlighter. Yeah. And then we've got four blushes and a bronzer. Mm hmm. So here's something that I've heard to try with those types of with the baked product. And it's similar to what I can do with this top shot because it's also baked, right? It's on the waffle pan. Right. I've heard you can super glue these back. That's what I was thinking of doing. And you just got to clean this, the center. You just put it back in yeah. Right, just a little bit in the center and that should do but it. I, I'm like, or will it really it work? Here. Yeah. But will that really work? Because it's a powder on metal. I don't know. Maybe. This is a, a beautiful palette, and I just haven't used it very much. So I want to put it in for this prompt six times each pan. Yeah, that'll be good. I think that's a great idea. I need to remember to do that whenever I get that prompt. Because like you, I have all these NARS blush palettes. And I try to roll them into projects for, like, usage goals. But... You don't get anywhere. <laughs> I know. Like they look like brand new. The only I do have one that's my oldest one that I got from a Nordstrom anniversary sale where I hit pan on the bronzer, Laguna. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You do I have a a single blush in Dolce Vita that I have a pretty sizable pan in. Mm. But I put it in for a usage goal last year for like 50 uses for 50 shade. No. For something. I think well, it was, it was like a, was a, a, a I was going to say, was a deck of panning where you had to. No, no, I think it was A to Z. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I used it 50 times and you can't really tell <laughs> that I made any, any expansion on that. Pan. Progress on it. The products are so beautiful. They are. I love they them. Are. And I like you have a lot of face palettes, blush palettes, eyeshadow palettes. I just don't use them. So I thought I'm going to put this one it's in. It's a good idea. So that's it for the Omen. By the way, have you seen the trailer for the, the first Omen? The, a new movie that's come out called The First Omen? Is that the one you were talking about that you were like, okay, I haven't seen that one yet. I was going to ask you what the name of the movie was. It's the eerie. First Omen. First, oh, first Omen. Omen. Okay. And it's also about a nun. And because you were telling me about. Oh, right. Which, what was that one called? It's one, one word. Hold on. Also about a nun. What is the fixation about? Immaculate. Immaculate. Nuns and, and horror movies. It's got Jesus involved. God. Satan Jesus and religion and Satan and all that stuff. Yeah. The devil. Six, six, six. I, I see that that movie that Russell Crowe was in the the about exorcism. Russell Crowe. The, the bishop's ex exorcise exorcism or something. Anyway, I see it's out on like Netflix or Prime or something. I might watch it. Oh my god! I may have to watch that. Reviews. Russell Crowe. I don't think it got got great reviews. Well, who cares? <laughs> but yeah, the Pope's yeah. Exorcist. Pope's Exorcist. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I maybe I'll watch on, that tonight. I might watch it too. I may I may watch it too because I saw it somewhere either on Prime or on Netflix. That sounds good. I mean, you know worth trying yep. worth checking out all right well those are our prompts and what we brought in we were what we rolled out what we're working on very exciting Rudy. i'll have to go through my list and my wheel and see what the hell's going on while i'm getting these prompts twice i'll have to fix that mm -hmm. but anyway that is going to be it for us today that's it yep thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.